Alongside flashbacks into Grogu's past, we have some fascinating details into Bo-Katan's character and where she might be going. Welcome to Star Wars Uplink. Would it be acceptable to wear one pauldron of the Night Owl and another with the Mythos Worm? The Mythosaur belongs to all Mandalorians. It is always acceptable to wear. I would like that. This episode wasn't the best in terms of what I come to the Mandalorian for, but stay tuned to the end of the episode to hear exactly why. But for this part, I want to talk about Bo-Katan. Where Mm. the heck is Bo-Katan headed? Because I think even she doesn't really know. Right off the bat, she's like taking charge and mm. being the reasonable one and not just flying off yeah. with everyone else. But like, let's think was, about this. There was a woman in the group and was like, uh-huh. I'm going to go get the plane. Well, it shows her experience too, <laughs> having mm. led Mandalore, having led Death Watch, mm-hmm. having led all of these different mm-hmm. organizations, whatever her, what is her clan called? Uh, the night, well, not night the, owls. Yeah. She, she knows what the heck she's doing. Mm-hmm. And actually, I think that this is a really good refresher for her. Like it's mm-hmm. been a while since she's been in a leadership position that. Yeah. All of her people left. Yeah. And in a position that people are like good with her being in. Yeah charge <laughs> <laughs> as soon i i said this when we watched it but i was like uh, thank goodness someone got a ship here mm-hmm. we all know from playing battlefront how only seconds those freaking jetpacks last <laughs> mm-hmm. which was honestly a great nod to yes that being like mm-hmm. yeah there see there is limited fuel yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can only hold so much but That's i great. think this this has a lot of like good representation and good like references to the path that bo on. I mm-hmm. think most indicative of is her losing one of her pauldrons. Mm-hmm. Fell off during the whole battle and trying to save Ragnar. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a symbolizing a kind of a turning point for her. Mm-hmm. The fact that she didn't have it repainted and done the exact mm-hmm. same way shows that she's growing and that she's moving in a different direction yeah. than what we've seen her previously. I think a lot of it has to do with the acceptance of the past of the Mandalorians mm-hmm. because, like we've heard many times in the past, this the, the Watch, the children of the Watch, they are more of a, a classical-minded. They, they would consider themselves the original Mandalorians, but like they, they follow so closely to the, what they believe in as what the Mandalorians are. Mm-hmm. And I think that's represented in the adoption of the Mythosaur symbol mm. for Bo-Katan. Mm-hmm. You've got her path of the Mandalorians with the Night Owls. And then you have the past, but also the future of the Mandalorians with the Mythosaur. I wonder if she's not thinking like this is history repeating itself almost. like yeah. Or like this idea that you need the past mm-hmm. in order to convince <laughs> to go yeah. to forward you know like there just seems to be this frequent stuck in the past kind of idea with the mandalorians mm-hmm. and she seems to be very well versed in that she must be thinking i need to somehow work in these prophecies in order to to really hit home with these people. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what surprised me is she actually mentioned the Mythosaur Mm because last episode and the episode before that, she was kind of like, did you see anything? And then Den obviously being like knocked out and mm -mm. trying not to die. (laughs) was like, no, no, man. (laughs) But she didn't say anything else after Mm -hmm. that. She didn't give him any of the details. I was was honestly thinking that she wouldn't mention it at all and would just keep it as that that's her path that she's on and that she what she's like. Her ultimate goal is that Mythosaur trying to find more details around it. But now I think she's trying to like really test the waters of what their beliefs are. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it, I I would be. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm and also actually, what her beliefs are. Yeah, oh, for sure. It's like, do these people believe what I believe? And what is it exactly that she does yeah. believe? Like uh-huh. <laughs> at this point, I feel like she's a clean slate. Like she's just mm-hmm. kind of like I don't have anything now. And for her to be in this clan in this cult, yeah. practically, it's like what kind of ashes am I growing out of here? Mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> yeah. How long do you think that she's going to stay with the Children of the Watch? Oh, I don't think it's going to be very long now. I have a feeling that if if it's not next episode, 
it's going to be the one after it. Like, I don't think yeah. she can. I just, I, Bo-Katan is such a kind of a bullheaded character, I feel. Like, yeah. I feel like she won't be able to stand for this for long, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. She's kind of, it seems like she's right on that edge of like, man, I really like being a part of this community. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm valued. I'm finding purpose here. But on the same side of things, she's like, man, I have to eat alone that's also really mm-hmm. hard because she is a part of that community and it's something that she's never done in her whole life she had to find out like how do we eat with our masks yeah like, what's what's going on here? in a way she's put in a position where she's less mandalorian than they are mm-hmm. in their eyes anyway yeah. and that's a really fascinating position for her to be yeah. in because she's always been the most mandalorian uh-huh. <laughs> Just being sister of Satine and mm-hmm. way up there, I mean, with her dad and all that. Yeah. like, And then being like the main reason that the Mandalorians fell. Mm-hmm. Oof. That's got to that's gotta sting. That's got to hurt. And, all, and then losing the Darksaber, which was like the symbol of your your control of Mandalore and then all of your people leaving. I, I could totally see the appeal of staying with, with the Mandalorians and mm-hmm. staying with the Children of the Watch. Mm-hmm. I, I do think that they're leading up to her like taming the Mythosaur, though. That's definitely got to be her plan. Yeah, She's or at least like thinking. using it to unite the Mandalorians mm-hmm. in some way. Yeah. Well... I think she's just seeing the storm clouds brewing and mm-hmm. being like, something's coming and... We're going to need to be together. We're going to need to be together and this might be the thing. It, it could be big. Yeah. Let us know your theories. I do want to hear what everyone thinks about this because I think this is... Obviously, everyone's going to talk about the flashback scene because that's pretty pretty interesting mm-hmm. seeing who saved him. All of that stuff. But I think something that a lot of people aren't really going to think about until we see more of that is what is Bo-Katan up to? Mm -hmm. Like this is something that is very fascinating considering we're seeing the Mandalorian probably be Grogu, but also is in mention as most of the episode titles are. Like you've got the Foundling, which is obviously Grogu, but it's also Bo-Katan. Each of the titles of these episodes Mm -hmm. have multiple meanings. Mm -hmm. In terms of our review of the episode, Mm -hmm. (laughs) not feeling it. Like I liked the details that they get in terms of Grogu's backstory, oh, yeah. I think that's really good. We mm-hmm. all knew that that was going to happen, but I like that they're getting into it and giving it the time that it needs. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, let's play this out. And I, that it's not like fully fleshed out even. Yeah. Like, we're okay. Here's the first piece. Yeah. Like, I like that we're going to be getting the segmented mm-hmm. memory. Yeah. As Because this is the first time back. we've gotten it in Mandalorian. The, the other time we got it was Book of Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, yep. Mm-hmm. When you really got like that big flashback scene Mm -hmm. of like, oh gosh, that part was good. Mm -hmm. But they do the stupid, (laughs) stupid thing of like, okay, everything's hunky dory. Oh my gosh, look, there's a big dinosaur thing. It's going to come and disrupt everything. Yeah. It was almost campy. Yeah. Very campy. Oh, so we're all fighting out on the beach. Mm -hmm. And once again. Yeah. Once again, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This I wasn't the water this time. It was uh-huh. the air this time. So it's yeah. like, <sighs> and I think the nice. excess of it is so indicative when they freaking dinosaur pterodactyl thing starts to fall, and then out of the water something else comes and bites it. Like mm-hmm. seriously, like, people, come on, <laughs> come on. We couldn't have thought of something a little yeah. bit more original. Uh huh. Maybe. Yeah, I I I know that they need these moments of character growth and development, but I think there's better ways to do it than. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, look, there's a dinosaur. And it decided with all of these Mandalorians out on this beach to grab the one kid that walked uh-huh. just a few meters away, and then wait until overnight, even though it already flew to its nest, to feed its young with the children as soon as they show up. Also, the child was still alive, but who knows how long it had been stuck in its gut? Yeah. Wow. That's intense. (laughs) It was a lot of suspension of disbelief that I don't think they've earned yet. Yeah. In this season. Yeah. Not my favorite episode. Probably one of my least favorite episodes of Mandalorian so far. It's only redeeming factor really is the flashback with Grogu, who is, fun fact... The actor that plays Jar Jar in the prequels. So great. So great to see Ahmed Best really like 
in a position where people can value him after being hated for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good. But with that, thank you all for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And hey, may the force be with you. Also, check out our podcast. <laughs>